Good morning and welcome to Pop TV. Today is Friday, December 11th, 2020. My name is Charlie Hammonds. Students, there, are, there is one week left until winter break and don't forget the exam starts on January 12th. Students, remember all games tickets will be sold online only to the district website, citruschools.org to purchase them. No tickets will be sold at the door. The second nine weeks of our challenge is starting now through January 15th. Will your name be here? Winter break is a great time to read. Uh, the first place, first place gets seventy-five dollars worth of books and a free lunch from Wawa's. Second place gets fifty dollars worth of books and a free lunch from Wawa's. Third place gets seventy-five, twenty-five dollars worth of books and a free lunch from Wawa's. And the current standings as of right now are Peyton Chonko with one hundred sixty-three points, Alexis Rodriguez with one hundred fifty-four points, and Ben Dragon with one hundred fifty-three points. Are you wondering how to check out a library book? First, open the ClassLink app, then click on Destiny Follett, select the Canto High School, your username and password, both your student ID numbers, tap exit, then click library search to find a book. Select the book, place it hold, and the library will deliver your book when it is ready. CF is offering general information sessions for students and parents. General sessions are on January 14th at 11 a.m. High school sessions are on January 26th at 4 p.m. And dual enrollment sessions are on January 20th at 6 p.m. Students, don't forget that overdue books must be returned to the library. You will incur fines if books are not returned or renewed on time. Baseball trials will start on Monday, January 18th at 9 a.m. and continue through Wednesday, January 20th, with trials being after school on Tuesday and Wednesday. Anyone who is interested in playing baseball in the spring needs to go to Coach Logue's room in the 97 building, room 207, to get the information needed to be eligible to try out on January 18th. The Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery, also known as the ASBAB, will be provided for all interested juniors and seniors Monday morning on January 4th, 2020 in the 2021 in the LHS cafeteria. Participants should report to the LHS cafeteria at 8.30 a.m. The ASBAB is a beneficial tool for students to gain insight to their vocational interests and employment possibilities upon graduating high school. There is no military obligation for participating and interested juniors and seniors should sign up in the guidance office. The deadline to sign up is December 15th of 2020. Students interested in making digital animations are invited to join the animation club. Meetings are Wednesdays after school until 3.50 p.m. in room 243. Join the Remind at Animate LHS to sign up. Deadline to join is this Friday, December 11th. Congratulations to Bianca Dvorsky and Kelly Storm for entering, earning the highest rating in the duet musical as they represented Lakanto at the Northwest Florida Thespian Festival. Bianca also received a score of ex excellent in the category of solo musical. The Rotary Clubs in Citrus County have established a fund to provide an annual scholarship of $1,500 for high school student in recognition of the founding of Rotary Upper Bound in Citrus County by Ray Darling in 1990. Since then, the program has expanded to six presentations per year, three for elementary school students and three for middle and high school students. Nearly 600 students are recognized each year, though the coronavirus has affected the first four presentations this year, but it is hoped that the two in April might be able to take place. To qualify, students must be in the final year at a Central County High School, be planning to attend a college or university or technical college in 2021 or 2022. Additionally, students must write an essay of approximately 800 words on the subject of, of I am upward bound because an indication of what receiving an upward bound award meant to the student and how it influenced their progress. Essentially, each applicant must have a recipient, recipient of an upward bound award. Applications must be made in writing stating full name, current school address, or for communications, date, grade, and school attended at time of Upward Bound Award and Summary of Further Education being considered. A supporting memo of confirmation must be submitted by the parent or guardian, school officials, or the public official to whom the student is known. Applicants should be sent to Upward Bound Scholarship, the CEO of the Calumunda Dula Court East, Home of Sassa, Florida, 34446, and postmark no later than midnight on February 12, 2021. It is hoped to make the presentation of the scholarship at the middle and high school's Upward Bound Award Ceremony in April 21. Students, make sure you complete this yearbook's survey and see the QR code below. 
Uh, next week is Dude Be Nice Week. We will spend the next week celebrating each other and encouraging kindness. There will be dress up days for each day of the week, starting with the holiday sweater on Monday. So dust off your winter wear and show us what you got. You will also be writing thank you sticky notes in your top time to any student or teacher on campus. So start to think about what you're going to write. Tuesday will be Aloha to Kindness, wear Hawaiian shirts, Wednesday is celebrate diversity, Thursday is team up for kindness, and Friday is Friday is Panthers have a heart of gold and letter of green gold. Have a great day, Panthers, and tune in every day for the announcements on Pop TV. Hello everyone, it is Friday morning. I hope you all are having a great morning so far. My name is Vincent Lahara, and I'm coming at you with my very first Good Morning Motivation. So today's uh, Good Morning Motivation is gonna be a very special one and it's gonna be basically talking about the overview of next week, which I'm sure you guys have already heard about, Panthers Be Nice Week. So essentially this week is to promote kindness and positivity throughout the campus. You know, you're thinking about ways how you can be kind, how you can help others, and how you can cheer people up. And so with that, I wanted to give you a quote that I found on the internet. Do things for people, not because of who they are or what they do in return, but because of who you are. And so this is a great thing. This is really about reaching inside and just seeing the kindness that you have within yourself that you can offer to other people. You know, um, always be aware, you know, you never know when other people may need your help or may need that just confidence boost that you can provide them. Um, I'll be coming at you guys next week with some more quotes for you guys to hear and some more kindness. Remember, be kind, be positive, and don't forget to wear your holiday sweaters on Monday. I hope you guys have a great weekend, and see you later.